You know what everybody asking? Will there be another Friday? I wish, man. I wanted, you know, I've been fighting for that, you know, forever. Like, um, it's just a situation with with Warner Brothers that they don't want to um, do the movie the way the movie should be done. You know, right. when I did the first Friday, the first one, me, DJ Pooh, um, F. Gary Gregg, Chris Tucker, um, it was called a negative pickup. Negative pickup is when basically you get the money, get the financing, studio get the hell out the way, and you bring them back a finished movie. Right. That was the first Friday. Every Friday after that, they've been wanting to give notes and put in a little, I don't want to hear what a Hollywood exec got to say, Toby Emery. I don't give a damn about what a Hollywood exec got to say right. about a, what a Friday movie should be. How can he tell me exactly. what a Friday movie should be? So I would give him scripts and they would give me a bunch of whack notes to change the script. And I was just like, no, this don't work. This is stupid. This doesn't make sense. You know, you want me to cut the script down, but you're giving me more notes that add more pages. So it, it don't make crazy man sense. Right, so so you're talking about somebody that's sitting up that don't understand black culture. Yes. Uh, trying to tell you how to write a, uh, a, a script that, like, like I, if you wrote, if I wrote it, you would understand it. Of if course. you wrote it, I would understand it. But yes. we're trying to, that's like being on a radio show trying to explain to a white program director. Mm -hmm. Remember, we went through that. And I told, I had to tell Peter, I said, I don't explain my jokes to, I said, do you perform, sir? I'm not, I don't explain my jokes to nobody. Right. You know, I sell tickets. You don't. Yeah, that's so right. I'm not explaining no jokes to you. I get it. That's what, that's basically the gist of it. So I, I gave him one script. Tell me this for the, the last Friday. Last Friday. Right. I, I've, I've written two full scripts, totally different movies, because the first one I gave him, you know, it was, uh, Craig, Day Day, they, you know, they had a dispensary. You know, it was a little flash mob. Right. right. They went off on the kids and then they got thrown in jail. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They right. got jail and they got to duck Debo, they got to duck Damon, they got to duck the Joker brothers. They told me, you know, uh, going to jail is not funny. Mm -hmm. I said, man. But, I said, look, man, it's not funny, but it's a consequence sometimes of selling okay. illegal substances you know what i'm saying so you gotta explore it we gotta and and look it's funny it's, it's yeah funny. i bet it is and then after that it. all these go to jail uh black is the new orange and orange is the new <laughs> artist <laughs> right yeah all these so yeah, i'm like y'all don't know what y'all talking about either y'all stole what i was doing or y'all don't know what i'm talking about so yeah. went away Wrote another script. They begged me, man, right? Please, you know, one that just, you know, fits. I said, okay. I'm so it was we'll just go your, back in your the DJ Poo. It was me. Just okay, got you. It was me, but I was always gonna slide it to Poo to get his, you know, he he liked to add a little bit of flavor sometimes. Right. You know, I use Poo sometimes to add a little flavor. Right. So he uh, it it was a situation where I gave him this next script. It was back on the block, back in the neighborhood. Yeah. Perfect situation. Um, and it was a great, it was, it's a great movie. And right. once again, more notes, more notes, mm, more notes. Wow. They all no, stupid, they that. don't make sense, forget that. all stupid. And then John Witherspoon passes away mm. after a year and a half of going back and forth with these people. Right. Wow. So, you know, I lose it, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, y'all just, you know, this, this man was waiting to do this film. He kept saying, this is a film that I want to do. Right. When are we going to do it? And then he, when passed away. Do it? he passed away. And then later on after that, Tiny passed away. And they both was waiting to do this film. Right. Hold that thought, y'all. We got Ice Cube right here. More Ice Cube, Rick Potter Morning Show. None of this yeah. shit, man. That's real. That's what how it went down. They, they just, it's like they, I thought after a while, I was like, I don't want to make this movie. Because y'all, you know, doing everything to not make it. Like, right. I've been in development hell with scripts. Like, no, it's more. But they needed it. You know, like, I, I understood, okay, yeah, this ain't ready. Right. You know, um, and this ain't my script. Some scripts we was trying to make as movies, sometimes they just don't come together. Yeah. This one was tight, came together. They gave me notes. I used the ones that made sense. 
Right. But then they had a bunch that did. Yeah. And, and they could never get over that. You just don't. These are not going to be cool because it, if you go back and look at the first Friday. Friday if you go back and look at the first Friday, they should trust your judgment exactly. on that shit because right. that was you and Pooh. Yeah. It's like in the black, and this it's like a uh, it's an iconic film that y'all did, and that shit was probably the, the, the best one because it was just simple. Yeah. It was so fucking simple and, and funny with Chris. Like that shit was crazy. Yeah, and I can understand the frustration with uh, with the passing of John Witherspoon, and, yeah, then, and then Tiny died. That's 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 crazy. AJ died. I was yeah, gonna have them all. all the I was gonna have them all in this last one because we was back on the block, back in the neighborhood. Craig had went back to see his pops and, and moms and stuff. And, right. And they was they was getting into it with Smokey's son. He was the he was the new Debo, little oh. thin little youngster. You know what I mean? That right. Debo fights, beat you up. This dude want to pop you out. So everybody was. Nervous right. and Smokey son, he could get into it with Mr. Jones and just the old, yeah. you know what I mean? You gotta bring it together, the, yeah. the, the older youngsters. Right. You know, Craig was trying to, yo, we gotta come together. We can't be, our elders can't be fighting with our youngsters. Right. Yeah, you the know, thing that I noticed was the Yeah, it was, it was, it was on point. The Friday after next, the way that shit started moving, like near the end, that bitch, that goddamn, oh, yeah, yeah, rolling. that goddamn <laughs> film stuff. I watch it for the action, like like we're not. Now I don't care nothing about me being in it, but just the action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, drama going on there. This yeah, shit that going really upstairs is. at the party and shit, shit, it just shit started going on at the end. Just the way it, the crescendo of the <laughs> film, shit was just just it's iconic, man. I, I, I hate that for you, cause that that's something that the black community need. We need them damn Fridays, man. It's like they they know that, and that's why they didn't give it to. Them. But I don't know. Like, that's what it seemed money. like. Of course, you can't prove that, but what else is the explanation, you know? Um, and, you know, I got a thousand theories. Who knows what's really going through the minds of these folks? And right. It's like, you know, when it don't the make thing sense. about it is the movies are so iconic. Time. The generation that wasn't even born when y'all did it fucking loved love that it. movie. Classic. Love it. Man, at the end of November, when they start playing them joints, man, people, kids are like, like, like. They recite the movie more than us. Yep. That's, that's the crazy.